ಗಂ ಗಣಪತ ವಿಘ್ನ ವಿಶಕಾಯ ಮನೋವಾಂಛಾ ಫಲಪ್ರದಾ ಈಶಪುತ್ರ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಸ್ಥಾನ ವಿರಾಟ ಋಷಿಮಂಡಲ ಉತ್ತಿಷ್ಠ ಉತ್ತಿಷ್ಠ ಓಂ ಹ್ರಾಂ ಹ್ರೀಂ ಹ್ರೌಂ ಸಹ ಗ್ರಹರಾಜ ಭಾಸ್ಕರ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಆದಿಚ್ಚಾಯ ಸೋಮಾಯ ಮಂಗಳಾಯ ಬುಧಾಯ ಗುರು ಶುಕ್ರಶರೀಭ್ಯ ರಾಹವೀ ಕೇತವೀ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ವೈಶ್ರವಣಾಯ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರಾಯ ಇಂದ್ರಾಯ ವೈಶ್ವಾನರಾಯ ಯಮಧರ್ಮರಾಜಾಯ ನಿರುಚ್ಚಾಯ ವರುಣಾಯ ವಾಯುದೇವಾಯ ನಮೋ ಅಷ್ಟಿಕ್ಪಾಲಕಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ವಾಸ್ತುಪುರುಷಾಯ ವಿಮಹೆ ಭೂಮಿಪುತ್ರಯ ಧೀಮಹಿ ತನ್ನೋ ನವನಿಧಿ ಪ್ರಚೋದಯ ಮಿತ್ರಾಯ ನಮಃ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಫಾರ್ ಇನ್ ವೋಕಿಂಗ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಸರ್ಕಲ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಯುವರ್ ಲೈಫ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಸರ್ಕಲ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಎಸ್ ಪಿ ತೆನೆಟಿ ಚಾನಲ್ ವನ್ಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಎ ವೆರಿ ಬಿಗ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಟು ಆಲ್ ದೋಸ್ ಹೂ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಲವ್ಡ್ ಮೈ ವೀಡಿಯೋಸ್ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ದ ವಾಸ್ತು ಪವರ್ ಸೀರೀಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಬೀನ್ ರೈಟಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮೋರ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ಇಯರ್ about vastu almost around 2 decades ago in the popular newspaper in of hyderabad i had been fortunate enough to have been invited to see decide diagnose and guide vastu aspects of huge factories all across india and even outside i had suggested plans to engineers and many builders to accommodate good vastu i might not have particularly recorded them but if i would have done it would become a voluminous book where people would talk about the miracles of vastu trust me no direction is bad the high merits of south direction karma dwaram and kriya disha is dakshina disha south direction commands more activity keeps one very busy more visitors or customers have a great footfall busy transaction and bigger profits south direction is indeed very good for business aspects This is the 11th episode of Vastu Power Vastu Power precious tips for a successful living yes busy ones choose south many big business organizations factories shops theaters textile stores hotels and shopping complexes are placed in the south direction the toughest part is with the making of the building or construction of the building south is ruled by agni yama and nirutya they are quite aggressive in nature so it should be handled with utmost care during establishment yes it should certainly be in a rectangular form where opposite sides are equal and you should always have uh, the main entrance should be on the uttama dwara uttama only that is dividing the entire south direction into three parts as i have told you best medium and worst uttama madhyama and adama the main entry should always be on the southern south east corner that is the prosperous zone that is the entry zone but then the question arises where should be the kitchen accommodated with this question in mind many people create main entrance in the south middle which is very negative it is yama dwara fights arguments clashes opinion differences sickness and accidents are likely with the yamadwara having the main entrance in the center of south 
Keep a watch upon it. That's very dangerous. Divide the entire south direction into three parts. And the first part is ruled by Agni. The middle part is ruled by Yamadharma Raj. And the last part that is the southern southwest part is ruled by Nirutya. So, Dakshin Agneya, the southern southeast is considered to be very auspicious. It can keep you very, very busy. Trust me, no direction is bad. Busy ones, choose south. I am talking about the high merits of south direction. The only alternative to south facing southeast entry houses for the kitchen is in the northwest zone of the house. If you are unable to accommodate the kitchen in the exact southeast corner of a house, you can choose the second best one that is on the north co northwest corner, Vayuvya Disha. But care should be taken that the kitchen platform should be on the east wall of that particular room and of that room and the southeast of that room should be considered as the fireplace and the stove or the fire should be placed on the southeast corner. The southeast should not be loaded with a staircase if the main entrance has to be on the southern southeast direction. Stairs have to be in the northwest or southwest if you are accommodating a kitchen in the southern southeast. That's very very important and it's a very sensitive factor. It is very important to align the doors only in an even number and the open space on the north is a must. It should be more open. Without the main door on the southeast, many proudly say that the main door is on the northeast but the gate is in the southeast. It is a south facing plot and the main entrance of the house should be on to the south direction. Half knowledge is dangerous. The main door should be on the roadside direction only. Remember, wherever the road is for a plot, that is considered as a face, not the face of an individual. Many people enter into the south facing properties, automatically they will be facing north and they call it as a north facing plot. It is your face, not the face of the plot. So the plot should be considered or the property or the land or the asset should be considered as an individual identity and the road determines the face of it. So understand, if the main road is on the south direction, you cannot avoid having the Simhadwara or the main door on the south. Otherwise, it is a physically handicapped house. The south direction can shower great riches and success. South direction commands more activity, keeps you busy, footfall will be more and busy transactions and good for business personalities. The basic rules of Vastu will remain the same to any directional house. Master bedroom should be on the southwest and the children bedroom or the guest bedroom can be on the north and northwest. Electrical power also is represented by Agni fire and it should be accommodated only on the southeast area. Having the main electric source on any other direction is dangerous. If you have the entire power to a property on the northeast direction, the financial aspect is in doldrums. If there is the fire uh, source on the northwest direction, then there will be fickle minded people and they will be poor in decision making. If they have the fireplace on the southwest direction, anywhere, it creates a lot of uh, opinion clashes between relationships and the matrimonial life is at stake. Southeast houses when perfectly built according to Vastu brings speed, makes the family members busy and active. 
they cannot be lazy the business lines in south facing zones will attract more and prosperous customers of course quality and service are the foundations to any business prospect water body should not be loaded on the south east at all should be very careful it affects the health of the residents so the water body should uh, the um, slump or you have got a property in, into the ground it should be on the northeast and the southwest corner should be the water tank the on the top of the house remember it should the water point should not fall on the diagonal line from the northeast to southwest which is very very dangerous and having a water body on the southeast corner like wash basins in the southeast corner or a tap or uh, you have got a place for the workers to wash the clothes or you have got some utility space on the southern southeast if you have a tap or a water flowing flowing element on the southern southeast it is like pouring water upon agni the fire is off there is no activity people become lazy they become fat obesity becomes a problem people will be stubborn anger will dominate them every direction has its own virtues they who have tasted the fruits of perfect vastu never compromise many say it is of no use to go for good vastu when the horoscope and planets are unfavorable it is wrong in a way unless one has planets favoring him and horoscope good it would not be possible even to accept vastu or even identify the virtues of good vastu people who have perfect balanced vastu elements even in a south facing house have immensely prospered a bad vastu house will not allow the residents to vacate and go for good very expensive remedial measures like dwara ganapati vikranta yantras assorted dwadasha yantra petikas and many other remedies ritualistically aligned and installed inside such disastrous vastu locations will gradually lose its energies within 6 or 8 years of placing them in case they don't want to break down or change the vastu for the next 2 or 3 years then they can go for such remedies but any remedy will not help them for long the maximum life of such remedies could be only 6 or maximum 8 years hence it is wise to rectify than pacify faith answers trust me faith is the master key and surrender is the password vastu power part 11 is over now that we have finished all external factors of vastu it is time for us to go deeper into the internal aspects of perfect vastu let us do it and very soon i'll be uploading a few more wonderful vastu videos thank you very much for being with me mitraya namaha aditya sakshi sampurna raksha digvijayi bhava mitraya namaha Welcome to Energy Circles VSP Tenet channel. Thank you for the amazing response. Please do not forget to pass it on and subscribe. Thank you very much. Aditya Sakshi Sampurna Rakshak.